Are you going on today? Oh. I'm not going. I never wanted to be anything but. You know, this is the thing. It worked because it was just amazing. Brutal, but he was. <laughs> but he was right. What gets you up in the morning? <laughs> said, Terrence, your ideas are floating around like flies, disturbing and annoying the reader. Uh, we, my family had property in the Catskills with a lot of stone ruins on it from when uh, my family were, you know, in the timber industry, the logging industry, the hotel industry. So all those structures had um, foundations that are in ruin and put still on the land. So it's like awesome to walk around in the woods on a beautiful spot and see the, the layers of history from your own family. Those two things, that structure of landscape from human patterns and then my mom and Oma manipulating the garden for aesthetics kind of like made me always want to be a landscape architect. So I've never not wanted, I never wanted to be anything but. It's fun. It's fun to finally have the skills to articulate visions a little more thoroughly and then um, be around around a city long enough that people trust you and trust that you're going to design something good and it's going to be built in a really, really beautiful way. There's been the Stone Bail, the, the Arch at Chestnut Street uh, right near the Music Hall and then the, the working sculpture with the giant hammers, the railroad tracks and the you know, the big pulley wheel. So all those are about history too, you know, human, human patterns, human effort that I appreciate over the course of centuries because it's shaped the world that we live in. So I try to articulate with the stone bell, it relates back to my, my master's thesis. It took me 14 months to do the thesis and my professor at the time where I had to write, so it has to be very sequential, you know, you have to like, have an idea but you have to back it up with research and I mean with the first thing he the first time I gave him my draft he said Terence your ideas are fl flying around your your ideas are floating around like flies disturbing and annoying the reader it was like ouch it was brutal but he was <laughs> but he was right so now I think my ideas are flying around but they're less disturbing and annoying to the reader <laughs> so I still keep in touch with that professor. <laughs> well, good. Well, how you are right now, like your hand just how, however you go, like that, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would read that, that's a nice poem. Do you have it? I don't think so. Can I read it off your phone? Of course. So this poem is called Faith in a Seed. A seed is life, wrapped in tempting flesh, awaiting consumption and dissemination. A seed is power thrusting to the sky. A seed is vulnerable, crushed, spread, chewed, and spewed. A seed is nutritious, sustaining all manner of rodents and man. A seed is also delicious, genetic code in edible form, especially when salted. A seed is memory, caught in your teeth, Reminding you of what you've done. A seed is relentless. Thousands lay in wait while you step on them. A seed is indomitable, resilient until the world seems ready. A seed is patience, ready for the now, but willing to wait centuries. A seed is an idea, undeveloped and brooding. A seed is a promise of beauty and bounty. A seed is love. Buried in dormant, a seed is discovery that the crevice in your heart will be split open. A seed is faith that the world is without end. That's it. Mm -hmm.